Hello, back again to do another unboxing and review. Today we have a product from Gamay. This is the Professional Hair Clipper model GM6008. Um, Alright, so I'm getting this because the one I was using um, from a different brand, a cheap brand, I believe it was Sunbeam. Um, it was a $15 clipper and I just used it till it died. Um, so I need a new one. I figured why not get something a little bit better. Um, and this is obviously a step up from that. Let's go ahead and look at um, what we have here on the box. So I did in fact order this. Um, so it did come over from China. And um, although I can tell you from reading the um, box, at least uh, the stuff that they have captioned on here, um, it's a lot better translation than um, you might find on other products. So that's a definitely step up for them. Okay, so um, from here we have in these little um, pictures, we have high performance stainless steel blade, adjustable taper control, um, cutting lengths. That's that lever there on the side. We'll see it, of course, when we look at the product. Um, LCD display shows battery capacity percent. So how much battery is remaining. And then there's a built-in uh, 200 milliamp battery. Uh, charge time is 3 to 4 hours. Working time is 4 to 5 hours. So, all right. Um, and there you can see the cord plugs in the back. All right, on this side, some things it comes with. It looks like we get one, two, three, four different, uh, what are they called, spacing combs. A 3, a 6, a 10, and a 13 millimeter um, one. You get an oil bottle, a cleaning brush, and also a charging adapter. Um, I'll, hopefully they sent me the one for the United States since that's where I'm at. Um, anyway, and all right, so I'll just quickly read through in case this isn't coming up. Uh, okay, the Game, uh hair clipper is intended for professional use and is engineered to deliver the sharp performance that experts demand. The ultra-powerful, full-size clipper offers an appealing aesthetic in addition to top-notch precision and function. It features, it features high-precision zero-overlap blades for superior speed and a convenient variable thumb lever for adjusting the taper and texture without, charging, without changing blades. Designed for smooth, quick, and precise performance on all types of hair. All right, so there we got both the lithium battery again. Uh, picture. And then over here, some more little highlights. Talk about the stainless steel chrome plate segment, the tapering lever, which we have, they already mentioned, ultimate power motor. Oh, so okay. Um, and then the special safety power supply cord. All right, and then some other languages over here. Made in China. This here um, looks like we have some 100 to 240 volts. And then there's 40, I'm sorry, 50 slash 60 hertz, 3 watts power. Okay, and uh, just more pictures on there. All right, so let's open her up here. Um, there was no, no seal on the box, so let's do that. All right, so we have a tray here, manual right up front. They're all things as they come. All right, so we'll start with the accessories. Here are these, what they call them, spacing cones. So there's the, it looks like this is what holds it on there. Little clip thing. So that's the shallowest one. Next size. Next size. And then the biggest one. Okay, and as far as flexibility, yeah, I mean, it moves a little, but it's overall rigid. Okay, um, the oil bottle, which, by the way, has some fluid in it. Look at that. So you do get some oil, not just the bottle. <laughs> All right, and okay, well, um, this is obviously not the outlet for USA. Um, hopefully there's an adapter in there, but anyway, here's how the charging happens. Uh, better have an adapter in here. All right. I, they did give it to me. And of course, I had to specify this one. There were some other options. So um, that's probably why the box wasn't sealed. They probably dropped this in at the last minute. Just a guess. So, um, there we go. Good to go. All right. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, well, before I get to this, let me show you this. This is that little uh, cleaning brush. 
Okay, um, so when I ordered this, um, the seller um, offered the option of getting these, the actual blades. Um, so you can see each pack contains two blades. Um, a bigger one and a smaller one. And I'll take one out here. Now, so as I take this out, I'll go ahead and say what I was trying to say. Um, this particular seller offered the option of buying um, additional ones of these. So I assume if you just got this without that, you would not be getting these three packs that I got. So, and um, he rec the seller recommended that you get these because he, in that particular seller, would not send these separate after you bought the main main item. I'm assuming that has something to do with shipping and cost of shipping. So, anyway, um, so again, these three packs don't come necessarily with this kit. Um, so here we go. Okay. All right, now back to the clipper. Hmm. Well, first thing I notice is that I like that it's relatively um, narrow, or so you can really get your hand. I mean, I, I would say normal size hands, but you can, um, yeah, you can wrap your whole hand around it. The one I had before was fatter, so you could do that. So that's a, I like that. Um, we have a button here. Again, I haven't read the instructions, so I'm just kind of guessing what these things are. But due to the symbols here, I'm assuming this is the power. Oh, um, okay. So they sent it charged. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Um, so yeah, that was the power button. And we saw briefly the LCD kicked on. I believe it said 100, so I think they sent this fully charged. Um, well, I didn't keep it on long enough, so I don't want to say it. But anyways, it does have some charge in it already. And... Um, Good thing this was on. This looks to be like a protector, uh, a guard, which is good. Um, so yeah, and here's that uh, adjusting, uh, what they call it, trim lever, whatever. So um, here, I'll just show this if I can do. Okay, so this is full up, and then when you pull this down, you can see the the shift there. All right. And, uh, well, now that I'm ready for it, let's go ahead and just push the power button again and see it go. It's pretty quiet, too. A lot quieter than the one I was using before. All right. Then over here, well, that's cool. It has, like, a little thing you can use to hang it. Um... That's where the charging goes. So, uh, yeah. Um, now, let's talk about weight. Um, I would say it's good. It's, um, how I say, it? it's not super heavy, and it is also not super light, so it kind of gives you that, um, yeah. It doesn't feel cheap. I guess that's what I'm trying to say, but at the same time, it's just not unneedly heavy. All right, and uh, I already talked about the good um, grip on there. So yeah, um, as far as replacing the blades, um, we have some, well, regular screws, so those will be easy to take off with almost any screwdriver you have laying around, and uh, yeah, oh, of course it does come with a blade on there, so even if you don't order the extra blades, you'll have one set of blades. So there we go, and it's uh, Gamay Professional. Okay, well, I'm going to actually use this, um, not right now, so after I go ahead and use this, I'll come back and tell you how it cut my hair. <laughs> Alright, so I just got done using this for the first time, and it performed quite well, I'm happy to report. And what I decided to do as far as a test was, well, shave my head. And the reason I opted to do that is not only that's the haircut I wanted, but I felt the best way to test this was to go with the most extreme setup it has, which is no guard, and this pointing up, which means it's the closest cut as this device can perform. And if there was going to be any failing, I thought that would um, make it very obvious. Hopefully it wouldn't chop up my head, <laughs> and it didn't do that, so that's good. So, yes, there was no pinching. 
and it cut the hair quite well. Now keep in mind these blades are brand new and I did drop three, I, I put three little drops of oil on the blade before I started it up. So yes, fresh new blades, fresh device, you know, oiled and everything. So it should have performed well, but it did. So um, I can't speak to how it will perform, you know, week after week, month, month, year after year, can't say. But for this first run, it did quite, or did really well. Now, um, speaking of that, I wanted to go ahead and um, tell some of the features and how they ended up working. Again, um, my hair was only about at most a half inch high. So, yeah, I don't know what this is with how this will perform going through, <laughs> um, you know, masses and masses of hair. If you have a lot of hair on your head or whatever, I can't say to that. But it, from what I described, it worked well for me. Now, let's talk about the, um, the, not needing a wire while you're actually using it. That was great. <laughs> I've been using one that has a cable, uh, had a power, yeah, plugged into the wall, and I got used to flinging the cable over my shoulder and kind of doing like a little dance with it as I turn around trying to get all the sides of my head, and not having to do that was a relief. And you don't really notice how convenient that is until you don't have the wire there, and so this showed me that. Excellent. Now let's talk about the battery. So, um, you can see after doing my whole head, we still have 97%. And I started with 100, so that means I only used 3% of the battery. So, I guess in theory, I could give myself 33 haircuts <laughs> um, before I would need um, to, yeah, recharge the battery. Of course, I won't do that. I'll charge it way before that. But, so, um, yeah, I now let's talk about um, what I recommend this. Yeah. Um, when I think about it, especially when I put the price into the equation, this is not that much more than that cheap one that, although that cheap one lasted a while, it did finally die out and um, it didn't have the features that this has. Um, so this is the better buy. So yeah, go ahead, pick one up. 